Hello, I'm Luca Bordeaux from Microsoft Research Cambridge. So what, what we what we are working on is, is uh, new experiences where we use some machine learning technologies and we embed them inside tools such as Excel. Uh, people love to use Excel to, to work with data and we, we are trying to, to assist users uh, um, in the whole pipeline of acquiring data and uh, analyzing them. So an example of the of the things you can do with these tools is this is a sheet of expenses I got from my bank and the task I want to do is to label uh, these entries into various categories such as food or bills or entertainment. So if I start do that, for instance, the first one would be food, and this one would be, for instance, other. As soon as I have two entries for this column, the tool is trying to basically learn what are the characteristics of each category and to suggest the user when, it's, when it has enough confidence what's the right label. So for instance, all of these entries are uh, accurately uh, categorized as food. And if I continue just a little bit, for instance, this would be a bill, so some bill entries start appearing. And if I feel one more, let's say, as uh, entertainment, uh, we already have uh, a few more entries. So I get quite a few entries for each click with this application. So it's a much more productive way of, of, of labeling data. So uh, another example, using the same machine learning technologies with a, with a different context is when you want to analyze data. So for instance, here we have a table of partial data about the votes of uh, US senators. And then uh, we have a number of missing values. So for instance, we don't have the affiliations for a few of the senators. We don't have, for instance, the percentage of um, how many times they followed the party vote uh, for a few of them. And we have a, a number of missing A's and A's uh, for, for a number of issues. So what this tool is doing here is a slightly different experience where I just select a range and I can press this autocomplete button, which will analyze the data and propose values for the missing cells. So for instance, we can see that John Kerry is predicted to be uh, rightly a Democrat. The other thing that this tool is doing is that it, it's also highlighting values that stand out. So for instance, here, this value is highlighted as an outlier. And we, we are excited about this, uh, these new experiences because uh, we think it's really a way to democratize machine learning. Machine learning currently is really only usable by an, a small number of specialists. And we think that with the, the right simple experience within Microsoft products such as Excel, there is really a way to, to open it up to a broad range of, of people.